Hey everybody, Dom here. It's September 2021, and so next month is October. And, as per usual, there's going to be a Team Fortress 2 update. A Halloween-themed Team Fortress 2 update. And so, for fun and for no reason in particular, let's run through a bunch of Team Fortress 2 workshop items on the Community Workshop that I think would be pretty sweet if there was added Team Fortress 2 in the next update. So, uh, yeah. Here we are. This is this is me in a web browser page. This is not something. This is not. <laughs> this is not. This is very low effort. So. It it's it's it, it's just something that occurs once a week so often. The next video will be will be high effort to compensate for the low effort video that this is. This is just, for fun. All right. So the first thing. The first we'll start, we'll start, we'll start with cosmetics. I think this cosmetic's pretty awesome. The Jeepers Peepers. It's an engineer cosmetic, and his eyes go out hilariously and so here's in here, here's how it looks with various paints which is nice and here's how it combos with various cosmetics which is also nice and this is the main page I think this is a pretty good cosmetic I enjoy the, it's, it's, it's comic nature and uh, it'd be pretty awesome if it was added in the Halloween update well we got we got like a million cosmetics here that chosen a million submissions in the workshop so I can't really stay on this one very long. Let's move on to the next one. Ugh. Okay, this is pretty awesome. This is kind of freaky, but, you know, in like a kitsch sort of way. I, I, I dig it. The something. <laughs> the executable. And this is specifically style 2, hyper. Okay, so in this um, curated list of things I've taken from the community workshop, I'm not going to show you every single different style. But basically, the, the workshop creators, they've, they've included various styles in their submission and various screenshots. But each page, they make very, they make multiple pages per style. It's just the way the Team Fortress 2 workshop works. But I'm going to only just show you the one thing. So this, I, sh I chose style 2 just randomly. It's not important. This cosmetic is pretty sweet. It's like um, glowing eyes and blood dripping down the face. Freaky. So here's it painted or a different style, which is white eyes. But for the most part, it's um, just red on the red team and blue on the blue team. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start the first one. This is it's pretty freaky. I, I dig it. I like it. Now, I'm not sure if... if um, I don't think it's, it's a particle effect. I think it's some sort of different sort of effect they're using. Like, um, it's part of the model itself. Because you can't really... You could put particle effects into model, models, but... It's like an extra task, and you know, developers are lazy, so <laughs> they're not good. For the most part, they're, they're not going to dig, dig with that. They're going to, you know, if you're making a model for the Team Force 2 workshop, you're just going to do one thing. You're not going to add a particle effect. So I think it's just part of the model itself, the glowing effect of the eyes. So here's some blue team and red team, like I said previously. And here's just examples of like different facial expressions. It's freaky. I dig it. This would be awesome if it was added to Team Force 2. Next. Oh, the Reaper is Scythe. Scythe. Pretty awesome. This is like, this is Hitman. Is this a reference Hitman? <laughs> it could be. I don't know. It's um a hood with a skull mask for the spy. It goes okay with a bunch of cosmetics. Interestingly, with the, these ones, with pff, okay, yeah, I dig it, and it paints quite well. I think. Uh, not much to say about this one. Actually, this is pretty low on my list of like cosmetics that I'd like. Like this, if this was not added, I'd be like, eh. That's okay. I can move. I can live my life without this cosmetic in Team Fortress 2. Next. Oh, this is awesome. Skull Crab. And it is... Like, the, the spy is freaked out. He's like, oh my god, look at these crabs here. Huh, freaky. And they're coming off the ground. Oh my god, undead crabs. Oh no. And so here's Style 1 and Style 2. It just, I guess, it changes the paint style. Whereas the body is the, the color. And the, um, the skull part is the, the not color. And the inverse of that, basically. Does that make sense? Moving on to the next screenshot. Uh, looks pretty nice. Goes on the shoulder. Basically, it's like the Spy Crab cosmetic, but different. And I dig it. It's quite nice. I think it fits Team Fortress 2 quite well, because, I mean, the Spy already has a Spy Crab cosmetic. So why not add another one, another one that's Halloween-themed? Next. Okay. The Enlightened One. I like this. This is stupid. <laughs> this is actually kind of freaky. It's just the Engineer, but with, like, a giant head. 
But like, it's just like look, look the vein on the side of his head. It's just little bit little, little details that make it freaky. That make it like okay, that's a little, that's a little out there. And you got the different eye glow color. So similar to the previous cosmetic, the previous 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 one, or the two previous. I'm not sure. Time passes. It was either it was either two previous from this one or three previous from this one. In whatever you know, what I'm talking about eye eye glowing. Moving on. Uh, yeah, goes with things. And for some reason, they also include like a meme one with like a JPEG sort of thing. Don't know what's up with that, but sure. I dig it. It's it's okay. Actually, perhaps not the best. Special sauce. Whoa. What's that a reference to? Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> Whom's the div? What? The <laughs> okay, let's forget about that. Let's move on. So similarly, this is the Merc Pattern Baldness. And it is... Basically, like, bald, for the classes that don't have bald cosmetics, like, they have hair, so you're not going to have an engineer one here, for example. There's just, it's fake baldness, like, the cosmetic on top of their head makes their head a little higher up, but that's just how it is. You can't replace the entire head, or in some situations you can, like, for the pyro, but for most classes you can't. But anyways, point is, that's how it looks. I think it's just, it's just stupid and funny. It's just stupid and funny. Not necessarily Halloween themed, but stupid and funny, and I dig it. <laughs> Now, of course, this is a reference to the Hatless update, which is the next tab, just for example, how it looked. Do you see with the scout doing the arm thing and then the high five in the background? That's a great reference. 10 out of 10 reference right there. Hatless update. Bald update. Not an update. Never mind. Let's move on. Okay, this is awesome. This is a meme. This is the meme. This, um, this appears in, like, various source filmmaker videos and, um, in, you know, G-Bond videos from the past. People don't make those as often nowadays. But anyways, there's a, a character called Soup Can Pyro, which is a, pa a pyro in a can. But not soup, it's just... It's not even a can, it's actually a bucket, okay? I don't know why I said Soup Can. I don't know why it's called Soup Can. It's it should be Bucket Pyro. But forget about that. I don't make the names of things in the past. The memers who make the memes make the names of memes. Moving on. Uh, here's how it shows that like it changes facial expressions with the demo man who has it equipped. So, yeah, that's great. See, you see the little details? And then the mad face, mad face. Pretty straightforward. And so, in terms of paint, this is like unseeable. Like, good job. Should I click this? Okay, that's a little better. I could kind of, it's just a little bit, little bit, little, little details at the very end. Like, the, like, Pyro wears, wears gloves, but where your fingertips are. Like, the tips of your fingers, basically. Oh, okay. I mean, fair enough. Good enough. Fair enough. I dig it. I want this just because memes. Moving on. Okay, devilish disguise. This is pretty awesome. I don't. Yeah, it's basically the spy with um, like devil horns. Like the facial hair is different. Goatee and the mustache is like devilish. Like it's like um. And I think the eyebrows are changed too. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm like 99% sure the eyebrows are also changed. Okay. Is it weird if I don't recognize the spy's eyebrows? Yeah, that's 100% changed. Look, you can see a little bit fade in the background. Yeah, this is different. I dig this. This is awesome. This is just reminds me of like classic cartoons. That's amazing. It's great. Uh, and also, I, I believe it changes the mask to be more, you know, blue and red. Yeah. So it's not just facial hair and horns. This is awesome. This is great. I love it. Perfect for Halloween. Let's move on. Oh, this is good. The Blind f Fury. Not furry. Oh, even though it, it is, like, you know, a furry cosmetic. The Blind Fury is the pyro head replacement item that changes the pyro's head into, like, a bat, basically. That is awesome. It's amazing. This is great. Look at this. Different colored heads. And it goes with very other cosmetics, like arm replacements and, and the, the wings. This is just a part, it's part of a set, basically. But, uh, yeah, the ones I could live without. The head ones is a good one. This is the good one. I like it. It's great. Amazing. <laughs> other synonyms for great. <laughs> I think it's well made. Yeah. Let's move on. Okay, this is just freaky. This, I don't, I don't, I don't I could live without this. It's kind of nightmarish. Look at this. Look at this. Freaky. The real boy is a medic cosmetic that makes his face like Pinocchio-ish. Basically, like a puppet, right? A mat, not a mannequin. A 
a yeah, puppet, more yeah, poor puppet. And it is freaky, 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 freaky. Okay, <laughs> that is just freaky. You might have nightmares about, about, about this later on. This is the paint ones. Wow, it's just the eyeballs, I think. Well, the irises of the eyes. Hmm. Alrighty. No, I can't. I can't look at this too much. I'm gonna get nightmares. This is. <laughs> Uh, I aquarium. That is a perfect pun. That is a great pun. <laughs> 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 Laughing about it before I even read it out. Okay. So it's, um, you know, goggles with eyeballs in them floating around and inside of water. Submerged in water, some might say. Style spring water. Amazing. And so they jiggle around using the power of jiggle bones. Amazing. Now this is not, this is not scary. It's just hilarious. And uh, yeah, I dig it. This would be great. This is a great cosmetic. Ah, next. Okay, four-eyed Jack. Jokester. Four-eyed Jokester. Whoops, sorry. And it's a clown style, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Styles don't matter. <laughs> Team Forge 2. The rules are made up and the styles don't matter. So anyways, it's just basically glasses and a, and a nose and, and a bow tie for the, these classes. I was going to say the spy and the scout, but no, it's for, it's for all the classes here. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. The spy already has clown cosmetics for like a previous from a previous Halloween update, but another another one doesn't hurt. You can mix and match. That's great. I like it. It's simple. It's stupid. It's funny. It's not actually that funny, but it's actually stupid and simple. And I dig it. You know, not every cosmetic has to be the most flashiest thing in the world. It could be simple and stupid like this, and great. And this is great, and I like it. Moving on. 11 minutes in, we're like halfway done. Oh my god, it's gonna take a million years. LOL. The All Seeky, Seeker, Seeking. The All Seeking. The All Seeking. This is not my favorite cosmetic in the world. I just included it for, for like, um, that it looks like a lot of work was put into it. Like, look at this. It jiggles. It moves. Physics, man. This is like high effort cosmetic. Even the back part of it moves a little bit. The rim moves and the eyeball moves. So, this is well made. I, I gotta commemorate people who make things well. This is very well made, I gotta say. And even though I don't like it that much, I would I would like it to be included in the game, in the update. The Halloween update that's coming up soon. Alright, so next one. Okay, this is like blowing up on, on the subreddit, Team Fortress 2 subreddit, you know, with all those stupid people. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't say anything about, about that about the, the Team Fortress 2 subreddit. Just ignore me. Anyways, so they really love this cosmetic. Here's basically it. This is the style, the big brain style, but this is just style. Oh, thoughtful motivation. That's what it's called. Okay. Basically, the idea is that you're like a zombie and you, you, you know, you use one of the voodoo cosmetics to become a zombie. And then you equip this and it's like you, you're searching for brains. So it's like the, um, the cartoonish sort of thing of, of putting something on a stick and then the animal or it's kind of like fishing. The animal chases after it. So you got big brain, you got regular brain, you got small brain, you got smooth brain. So smooth brain, if you're not aware, it basically means you're stupid. Like people, it, I'm not sure if it's scientifically proven or it's just um, this correlation between having the ridges of your brain. More ridges, more surface area equals smarter. So when people say you're smooth brain, they're saying you're stupid. Capiche? If you don't understand capiche, it means do you understand? And if you don't understand, you understand, then you don't understand. Moving on. I don't know. I like it. It's okay. It's not the best cosmetic in the world. I, I want it, but it kind of ruins the silhouette of the, of the, of the, the Team Fortress 2 classes a little bit. It's kind of out there. Definitely, it should be Halloween restricted if it comes out. Because, look at this. This is the side silhouette. It has this big friggin' brain in front of you. I don't know. I, I it's, it's okay. I, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. It's good. I, I dig it. Moving on. Okay. This isn't that great, but I like it. It's pro the soldier is for Sona. <laughs> Uh, and watch as it jiggles slightly, interestingly. The, the bottom part. Amazing. I think this is well made. And for the various colors, this is my, this is how I like when it comes to painting. Subtlety. Subtlety is amazing. You know, here you've got brown paint, you got yellow paint, you got green paint. And it only shows a little bit. That's amazing. That's the best. In my opinion, more cosmetics should be more subtle. And this is subtle painted. And so it goes well with various things. The War Dog, actually, I think is similar to a name of already existing Team Fortress 2 cosmetic. For the Soldier, specifically. Or maybe it's multi-class, or I'm not sure. But anyways, this thing is, I think this is pretty good. 
Not the best cosmetic in the world, but pretty good. Moving on. Okay, now we're on to unusual effects. We we're done with cosmetics. This is well made, and I, I dig it. Okay, so just look at your screen. I don't know. I don't know what to say. That's how it looks. Uh, it's a glowing effect, as well as skulls coming out and opening their mouth in a freaky sort of way. It's a great animation. I I, I dig it. It's there's various colors. There was um, so sort of cyan, cyan, a little bit green, cyan. Uh, there's um pink, and there's green purple. Not this is not the best one, but the other two are pretty good. Um, yeah, well made, great animation. Should I show you the video too? Nah, I guess you get you can see it from here. All right, let's show the video. I'm gonna mute this. It's basically the exact same thing, but it's slightly higher quality. Amazing. Well, I mean the video is higher quality than seeing the the, the gifs or gifs or however you like to pronounce it. Nah. Now someone's gonna be in the comments. Oh my god, I can't believe he said it that way. He said the G, the G word, the GIF word. It's a it's GIF. What are you talking about? Come, chill out, bros. Chill out. Next cosmetic. Let's get out of here. I think this is created by the same person because they also put a star in, in front of their thing. Hmm. Actually, I guess I could just check. Uh, let's scroll down. By these people. All right. Sure. Good job, you people. <laughs> and then we go back to the previous tab. Um. No, it's not made by the same people. They just also decide to put a star. Interesting. Or perhaps that's just how the Team Forge 2 Workshop works. I have no idea. I am stupid. Okay? <laughs> Don't come to me for advice. You're, you're coming to the wrong person for advice. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, so... It looks good, but it animates even better. Because, you know, it's an unusual usual effect. You probably should watch it animated. So there's the purple one. Mmm, very purple. So that's eyeballs and eyes both blink, and then it sort of rains these particle effects, as well as raining a smoky sm sort of smoke effect in the middle. I dig it. Consider going to watch these videos, like go go and watch these videos yourself. To do so, look in the description of this video because there's links to every single workshop cosmetic I've featured in here, right? And you could go at personally go and upvote these. You know, it's simple as going here and clicking yes, and then they could have a higher chance of being included in the game, if you want. All right, so on to maps. This is 2 forward, but it's beta, so, you know. But I think, I think, despite it being beta, despite it being beta, despite it being beta, oh no, it's one of those words again. I'm, it's beta, I think, the, the way you say it. Anyways, despite it being in a, a work in progress state, I think it's pretty good. They did a good job. Look at these, look at these hallways. The main area looks quite nice. It has the dome, it has another dome here. This is the, 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 the the foyer? Oh, what? No, what's it called in Team Fortress 2? This area actually has a name as well. But never, no one ever uses the name. So, ah, it escapes me. And here's, under, here's underneath the, um, like sewers. Here's sewers. Here's sewers on the other side. Here's a red side. It has a tower. Quite nice. That's a good replacement for, for the tower. Using the, the, other, the other type of tower, like a clock tower. That's great. Various ho corridors. Various corridors once again. Ooh, an open design to like the going downstairs area. That's an interesting, that's an interesting concept. I, I dig it. And this is blue side of, of the whatever room it's called again. Let's keep going. We've got some, we got, 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 you got, you got ghosts. You got pumpkins. You got battlements. <laughs> it got it all. This map got it all. This is like spawn basically on red side. And got portals to the underworld. Amazing. Is there any underworld pictures? I guess not. So I dig it. Not the best map in the world, but it's, it's a good conversion. I think they did a good job. Uh, you know, for work in progress, it's very nice. It's like a 9 out of 10. Not, not 10 out of 10? 9 out of 10. Pretty good. Uh, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Tomb Fort. In fact, if you look at a bunch of my videos, you'll note, you'll know, you, you could note this. I don't know. It's possible someone have noted it in the past. That I very, 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 very rarely use Team Fortress 2 for, for footage. I'll usually use a map that I like. I don't like Team Fortress 2. <laughs> Uh, they say 2 fort 2, I meant 2 fort 2 fort I don't like 2 fort 2 fort specifically is not great, in my opinion. The map itself doesn't play that well. So I avoid getting footage of it, just because. Moving on. This one, oh man. Los Muertos. Or, however you pronounce that. I'm not Spanish, I'm Italian. <laughs> Actually, quite similar languages. Los Muertos. I'm saying it so badly. The Dead, in, in Spanish. So, this goes with, like, the Day of the Dead sort of theme, you know, like, they have in it, in it, you know, yeah, whatever. And it's sort of like a seaside town, celebrating 
Halloween, or more specifically, Los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead, or whatever. Anyways, it's King of the Hill map. It's pretty straightforward. Actually, it's not pretty straightforward at all. It's it's complicated. It's silly. It's fun. It looks nice. I know that's all I gotta say. I didn't do that much research, but I'm pretty sure at some point in the map, it triggers a bridge to the underworld. Yes, so this is the bridge as featured. And you go into it, and it brings you to a fog version of the map, of source, or not. But just this, yeah, a yeah, fog version where you could fall off the cliffs and stuff. Which is, it represents the underworld. Which is, is, is pretty straightforward. That's, uh, that's, that's fair enough. That's reasonable. To have the underworld seemingly different than the, than the overworld. It's great. Look at these small details. Amazing. I think this map is great. Oh my god. Whoa. Volumetric lighting in Team Fortress 2. That means they made a custom model for that. That's that that shows that they put a lot of effort in. Whoever made this, these guys, these guys. Oh, Aaron, Aaron, game team to talk. Team Fortress right now, man. Amazing. Go play Team Fortress with that guy. <laughs> Cause you can, if you were to be in Team Fortress Two when I made this video. Oh God, we're 21 minutes in. And I'm not even done yet. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Uh, yeah, I dig it. It's nice looking Team Fortress Two King of Hill map, and here's the point. And I think it'd be great if this was added. It looks it looks well made. It looks it looks great. Next. Alright, this is called Graveyard. You you might think that's kinda of, kinda of generic sounding of a name, but think again. Because it's actually a conversion of Lumberyard. So it uses the name Lumberyard but changes it a little bit. So it's actually a good name. Alright? How I can't argue this better than that, okay? <laughs> Just trust me. If the name is a play on words of the original name, it's good name, okay? 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 It's, it's, it's good. Anyways, it's basically Arena, but it's called Player Destruction. Just because it uses a bunch of logic from, from Player Destruction. So I disagree with that the, the idea behind that. I think it should be considered an Arena map. Then again, Valve doesn't like Arena map and Arena mode anymore. They hate it. So, there's probably a better chance it's getting, getting added to the game if it's not Arena mode. Hmm. Okay, so it's Lumberyard with, with bombs. And spells, and a spell that spawns in the middle area. Um, wait, there's no screenshot of the middle area. Yes, there it is, right here. This one. Oh, this no rare spells. Oh, rare spot. Ah. I guess there's more than one rare sp spell spawn area, but there's one. There's multiple. Interesting, but here in the middle, that's when one spawns. Gen basically, it's arena mode, but best of seven. So you play four games. You just gotta win four games, basically. Best of seven. And, when you die, you become a ghost. So, not really ghost, like a regular ghost. Like, they use the custom model. It's sort of like, looks like a giant plus sign. It looks like this. Not giant plus sign. Miniature plus sign. You And you act as a level 1 dispenser for your teammates. So you walk around and, and heal them up as you go. As well as give them ammo, which is nice. Occasionally, the headless horseman, no, the, the skeletons will, 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 will spawn. And if you take too long, the headless horseman spawns. So, there's a lot of, like, like very... Very lot of mechanics to this. This is very in depth. Like, they thought of a lot of things. Like, it's arena mode, but better because you did a time limit basically. Due to the headless horseman coming after you and to kill you, and they made small adjustments to the map. It's it's quite nice. Uh, and their spells. Does that summarize everything? Oh, also they add they change something up. If you're where's the screenshot that like shows off this? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh, maybe that's not it. Okay, my bad. Can't just I was gonna scroll down. Here it is. This is you healing people, dead, spawning thing, power up. Okay, if you're the last person alive on your team, you get power ups. You get mini crits, it seems. So to like bounce it out more, and then the hell this horse and comes up to kill you. And here's like the HUD elements. So, well made, very very well made, very well made. I dig it. This should be added. This is awesome. This this is a great map. Moving on. All right, onto war paints. This is not Halloween themed at all, but delicious. <laughs> So I, I dig it. Sweet cherry fragged. And it's like a pie with blueberryness or cherryness. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, words cannot describe my hunger. <laughs> Let's move on. But seriously, though, this is not as a meme. This is me including this as something that would be awesome to be added. This is, this is good. I, I, like, I like it. Genuinely great. Genuinely great. All right, Varmint Varnish. This is a great pun name, Varmint Varmint Varnish, because the Varmint, as in like the undead, um, these dudes. Oh, don't for, don't tell me like I forget the name of raccoons. Okay, good, I remembered it. 
raccoons, basically, raccoon themed war paint. And it's not flashy. Like, it's actually very close to, like, the grayscale area. It's, like, compared to the previous one. Yeah, this is very gray. But it works out well. It looks great. It looks good. And it's Halloween themed. This is a great war paint, I gotta say. Yeah, let's move on. Now, this one is the opposite set, set, side of the spectrum. Very flashy, very high contrast. It's green and blue, green blue, ectoplasmic. Some might say, mainly because it's the name of the, that's what it's called. Ectoplasmic. And it looks like this on the we various weapons. It's pretty good. I dig it. It's not my favorite in the world. In fact, I think the previous one was better. And the previous, previous one was also better. But it's pretty solid. It's a quite simple design. Nah. I was going to say simple, but it looks like it's pretty complex. I think it's well made. It's great. I dig it. Next. Alright, for the final submission. This is not a ma map. This is not an item. This is not a, a cosmetic. This is not a new, a new visual effect. This is not a war paint. This is just a small upgrade to Team Fortress 2 that I think would be awesome. Ammo packs? Halloween themed! Because ammo packs don't change in Halloween. So if this was added to Team Fortress 2, it would make it so all the all ammo packs would also change to be Halloween themed during full moon events and during October. That's great. That That's perfect. That's all, also a little bit after October because the, the event lasts a little bit after October. About halfway until next month. And uh, that's it. Simple, straightforward, and great. And that's about it. Go look in the description of this. Look in the description of this video and um, go to these various workshop items if you like them and upvote them so they have a higher chance of getting into the game. Um, if you want, you don't have to. I'm not telling you to do it. If you don't want to, I'm not telling you to do it if you don't want to. There we go. But do it if you want to. It's your life, man. I don't control you. That's about it. These are the items I would like to add, add into Team Fortress 2, more or less. Consider posting in the comments what items you would like added to Team Fortress 2 for Hall for the Halloween update this year. I'll look at them. I, I love reading comments about that sort of thing. Especially things that I say to post comments about. <laughs> yes, I love reading comments about things I, po I tell you to post comments about. That's just logical and reasonable. Thanks for watching. It's like 27 minutes and a half now. Sorry that this video is so long. That's life. Thanks for watching. Au revoir.